We are Highlands. For 100 years, tradition has thrived in these halls and on this campus. It has lived in the hearts of our students, faculty, and alumni. From the 1914 to 1915 school year to the 2014-2015 school year, our building has stayed rooted in its location just as the values it represents. Honor, pride, dedication. As time goes on, the history of our school continues to be written and the history lives in the walls of what we call home. During World War I, Fort Thomas began busting at the seams as more and more families came to the area. Those few that did attend school in the early years went to the city building where there were a few small schooling rooms. Determined to meet the growing demand of children in the city, Fort Thomas decided to invest in the future. The first building was finished in 1914 and offered many new opportunities for students. The new facility had 25 rooms, an auditorium, chemical and physical science rooms, a lunchroom, a library, and a gymnasium with both boys' and girls' locker rooms. After the Roaring Twenties, an overproduction in industry and agriculture, war debts, and a stock crash plunged America into the Great Depression. When FDR was elected into office, he faced many problems. One solution to a jobless America was the creation of the Works Progress Administration. Highlands was one of the many beneficiaries of this New Deal project. A growing student body demanded more space. The WPA built the present-day North Wing around 1937, nearly doubling the size of the campus. Highlands enrollment numbers began to grow. On January 6, 1962, Highlands suffered a severe loss that dramatically changed the campus forever. We were at Dr. Jack Grover's home for uh, dinner and party, and the phone rang telling Jill Grover the school's on fire. Amidst freezing temperatures, firefighters fought a blaze that engulfed the original South Wing. Water froze to the brick facade as firefighters battled the flames. When morning rose, the sunrise shined light on the ice-coated burnt shell that was once Highlands. Although it was a complete loss for the original building, the blazes were kept at bay, saving the North Wing. In the following months, students were scattered all over the city taking classes in various buildings near the school and around town. Facing much adversity, the administrative staff dealt with the process of erecting a new building. Most recently, Highlands has undergone extensive renovations restoring and improving the legacy of tradition. In 2007, the long journey of renovating the Highlands High School campus began. Uh, Death Valley, I don't know if you call it that anymore since the field's gone and it's now a field house, but um, that was just a dirt pit. Now everything is, is state of the art. This TV studio is really a, is a, a testament to really the excitement that has come with the new advancements in the building. It shows how much different learning can be, how much more fun learning can be, and how kids can develop skills that they'll carry for the rest of their life. Highlands High School is nationally known as one of the best high schools to attend. Community is the backbone that over the years has shaped Highlands to be what it is. Our community has a foundation at the address of 2400 Memorial Parkway. Our parents have attended school there. We have graduated there. And now, our kids will be enrolling there. As decades go on and we reminisce on the 100th anniversary, tradition is engraved and memories are made. We are a high school that is rich in tradition and focused on the future. We are Highlands.